There are four principal characters or groups of people in Matthew 9, 35 to 38. The first is Jesus, who's saying, upon looking at the crowds, look at the harvest field, it's ripe, but the workers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to send the workers out. The second is, of course, the crowds who he's looking at. He's looking at them who are helpless and harassed, sheep without a shepherd. The third, of course, are the people he's speaking to, his disciples. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to go and send his workers. And in chapter 10, that's exactly what he does. So who's the fourth? Well, the fourth is whom the prayer is directed towards, the Lord of the harvest. A missionary once wrote, many churches today remind me of laboring crew, trying to gather in a harvest while they sit in the tool shed. They go to the tool shed every Sunday and they study bigger and better methods of agriculture, sharpen their hoes, grease their tractors and then get up and go home. Then they come back that night, study bigger and better methods of agriculture, sharpen their hoes and grease their tractors and go home again. They come back Wednesday night and again study bigger and better methods of agriculture, sharpen their hoes, grease their tractors and get up and go home. They do this week in and week out, year in and year out, and nobody ever goes out into the fields to gather in the harvest. One of the greatest challenges of reaching people is the fear of knowing what to say or how to bring people to faith. We forget that it all starts with praying to the Lord of the harvest, praying for God's sovereign will to open up those opportunities for conversation and for prayer. We often try to think of ways to manufacture gospel opportunities, when in actuality, our simple being there with people in their pain, in their joys, in their lives, and being a light and a guide to who Jesus is, what he teaches, what he offers, is enough. Jesus says to the disciples, pray to the Lord of the harvest. When he sent them out into the harvest fields in chapter 10, he sent them with the mind and the heart to pray to the Lord of the harvest. It was God's work they were going out to do, praying that God would bring them the words that they needed, the opportunities, and also the convictions of heart. Jesus is calling us to go into that field, and maybe some of us will be called to very specific areas of missionary life. But we're all called to the mission field, to praying for the workers, to praying for those opportunities, and finding those ways to share the good news. Let's find out more this Sunday as we explore harvest at a time of coronavirus. Please join us at 10.45 for our online service.